again and welcome back Scott Wonders World just me today as normal <laughs> not with a beer review not with a fat man sits in the chair talking about the beer he's currently drinking type video um recently uh, my good friend oh I know him as Dave but you're gonna know him as the blue van man he sent me a message on WhatsApp saying um, he'd been contacted by the best of British beer company. And I'm going to be honest, I'd not heard of the best of British beer company online. And um, they've sent him off a, a advent calendar that's got 20, I think you've got 24 lagers in it, I think Dave was saying. Now, the Blue Van Man, for those of you that don't know Dave. Uh, yeah, Blue Van Man. Doors gonna come around and swing me in the head. Natural daylight today as well. How fantastic! You in the in the winter nights get home from work, and generally it's in uh, darkness. Descends. I have to put the ring light on and the searchlight. People looking for me. But David, we, we've got um, we've actually got sunlight. Well, not sunlight, but anyway, wait for it. So yeah, Dave sent there sent this thing over, and um, I know he's been quite impressed with the. The advent calendar. Um, I quite don't mind an advent calendar if you depend on what you're looking for and what you're willing to pay. In all honesty, um, local some local um, sort of bottle shops and that do some very good ones as well. So there, there's something for everybody. And he said, "Have I heard of Best of British Beer?" And I hadn't. So I had a look at their website. And the next thing I know, I get an email from a lovely chap called Eugene uh, saying that David recommended me to. <laughs> to send me some beer and would I like some now being a beer review channel I'm very much gonna say yes thank you very much um so I thought before we get into the actual box that they've sent me but it's still completely closed I haven't done anything with it I thought we'd have a look at the best of British beer website and tell you a little bit about them because I don't know a great deal about them either and sort of maybe maybe we can educate each other so on their website it's uh, the best of British beer .co .uk. Let me just secure this door. Otherwise, it's going to get on my nerves. Keep swinging in and out. I know one wants to see that. I want to see my, my pretty masculine face. So, the best of British beer .co .uk. There you go. How are you? Um, they've got advent calendars. They've got um, curated mm. cases. They've got uh, gift vouchers. They've got uh, new in deals, bestsellers, beer gifts. They've got lager gifts. They've got beer clubs. Uh, it says something about the breweries. We'll get into that in a minute. Oh, I told you the breweries that are involved with them. So you've got Brains, Cheddar Ales, um, Coach House, Cold Town Beer, Freedom Brewery, Genius Brewing, Glamorgan Brewing. Co. Um, bro Sorry, I'll start that again. Glamorgan Brewing Company, Hobson's Brewing, J.W. Lee's, Celtic Brewing. <coughs> Lancaster Brewery, Loch Lomond Brewery, Limestone, Monty's Brewery, Oakham Ales. I've beaten Oakham Ales, love Citra. Um, Salopian Brewery, some of the Salopian stuff I've had been very, very good. Sam Brooks, Staffordshire Brewery, Stonehouse Brewery, Titanic Brewery, Traction Cider, Tint Meadow. Don't they do the, the, um, uh, the, the monk beers and all that sort of stuff? Wheatwood Ales, Wellbeck, Windsor and Eaton, and Wrexham and Brewing Company. So there's a few in there. They've got a, a blurb about what they're about. Best of British Beer was created by husband and wife team Will and Jill Sherwin in 2011. Jesus Christ. We had one simple aim in mind. To help wave the flag for this country's finest independent breweries and award-winning beer brands. Over 350 different Scottish, Welsh and English breweries later, we've achieved our initial goal and now we just want to keep discovering new craft beer to introduce to you and me. The, craft, uh, the British craft beer scene is really vibrant at the present with well over 2,000 independent British beer brands, the highest figure since the 1940s. 
The sheer scale of choice can be overwhelming, but there's never been a better time to be a fan of British beer. India Pale Owls, Classic English Bitter, Dark Imperial Stouts and Milds, we've got them all. If a hazy, fruit-flavoured New England IPA is more your thing, we've got you covered too. We pride ourselves on only supporting award-winning independent breweries with consistent uh, quality. We'll deliver your beer quickly and we're committed to supporting one of Britain's most traditional industries. We work directly with each brewery so you know that you are getting a truly personal service and the freshest beer possible. We're proud to be employee owned and by, by supporting us you're directly helping up to 350 other independent companies with each other. We love nothing more than having a beer and talking about beer so please get in touch if you have a question uh, about what we do we'd love to hear from you cheers so that's their mantra um they've got their customers got very good hot uh, feedback um they've got their deals so they've got latest deals on the line ultimate craft beer pack which i think is what they've sent me um the craft lager case uh, they've got 24 lagers 24 beers beer tasting at home so they've got a little bit for everybody so if it's something that interests you, they've got a beer club. Uh, they've got a beer club. It's a beer club. So you can get six bottles, 12 bottles. They've got a lager, uh, a lager club of six bottles. So if that's something that interests you, get out of the way. Um, Clubs.bestofbritishbeer.co.uk And there's a discount code of Welcome 10. With that in mind, Eugene said, can I send you a box of beer? If you can. I don't know what's in it. I've taken the only thing I've done is taken my address off of it. So not when you come around here trying to stab me, do we? So let's see what's in the box. I think there's 12 beers in there. So thank you ever so much to, to Eugene. Uh, it is much appreciated. Don't take anything for granted. Here at Scott Hall's World. So you've got the beer advent calendar. Might have missed that as some before the 74 uh, early bird prize was before the end of October. Uh, reasons to be beerful. There's a quiz on the back. Put that down there. Beer mat. Always love a beer mat. You are a small business supporting hero. Like supporting small businesses. We've got 26, not 12 beers. So first out of the box we have <coughs> from verdant and i have had this uh where have i had this i think i had this at the the lawrence pub in portsmouth and it's from verdant and it's their light light not light not what light is light bulb door's gone again <laughs> extra pale ale let me secure that door did it out the first time really when the job done, don't get Scott to do it. R2D2 trying to take off now as well. Can't get the bloody latch on. You don't get this anywhere else. Right, well, it's on now. <laughs> right, let's put this down here. So you can see the light beers. So we've got light bulb from a Verdant Brewing Company. Uh, we've got Centennial and Simcoe on the hops. That is pretty good, to be fair. I might I'm have a look at most of these, to be fair. Gives me good content, doesn't it? Ding, ding. Tickets, please. Number two out of the box, we've got... Uh, and I, I've not had this one, but I, I do I, I do like Gloucester and Grounded Keller Pills. Not a massive fan of the Indian, Indian Pale Lager series, um, like beer, but I'll give it a go. Running with Scepters. <clears throat> India Pale Lager out of Bristol. Lots of ground is a tremendous brewery. Number three. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's not good to die on camera during a promotional video, is it? Faith, uh, Northern Monks Faith, widely available in uh, supermarkets, but always good to have. We have Burnt Mill. Burnt Mill, absolutely brilliant brewery. Um, this one I am very much going to enjoy, and this is Beyond the Furs Citra and Sea Centennial Pale Ale. 
a huge fan of burnt milk. There's some absolutely cracking beers. Uh, number five, we have uh, from Sellerhead. What's Sellerhead? Sellerhead Brewing are in. It doesn't say. Oh, sorry. Uh, the Barn Pillory Corner in Flimwell. Don't know where that is. And that's a can of their Wonderland, which is a New England IPA. That looks good. Uh, two, four, number two, two, three, four, five. Number six. We've got a wiper and true, a lemon drop, and another good brewery out of Bristol. I'm sure they're out of Bristol, wiper and true. Let me look stupid. Yeah, um, lemon drop hill, which is a gluten free pale ale. Number seven. We've got open space, I think, was this in Asda? I'm sure this was in Asda, from North Brewing Company. Open space, a gluten-free pale ale. Pink grapefruit, a resinous pine, tropical fruit flavours, and bouquets of bright floral aroma. A balance with a crisp and clean bit of finish. I have had that. can't remember. I'm getting the cat, it's getting on my nerve now. Right, next one. We have... From Full Circle Brewing Company, where well, brew Full Circle, Newcastle upon time, Conductivitis, uh, Repeater, Session IPA, Bang, Nine, we've got Low, is that Lock, 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 Lock Lomond? That'll be Lock Lomond, surely. Yeah, Loch Lomond Brewing. Um, this looks the, the stuff that I've had from Loch Lomond um, from Lidl. I had a can of their Zoom Time last night. Always oh, been a huge fan. This is only happy when it rains. And this is a double dry hopped IPA, um, Galaxy and Mosaic. I'm I'm really looking forward to that one. I do like seven and a half percent ABV. This one. I could tell you the ABV as well, really, shouldn't I? Very snazzy one, this one. Mar is that marble beers? They're out of Manchester, aren't they? They're out of Manchester. Probably not. Yes. That's look. This one's Atlas. Easy Pale. That's a big can. What's that? Is that a 500 ml? 500 ml can. Quenching and refreshing. The Easy Pale has citrus and fruit notes held on the shoulder of an easy drinking pale base. What percentage is that? Four percent ABV, uh, marble canned beer produced to celestial standards. That sounds good as well, do we? Huh? Uh, two left. We have from Mondo. Never heard of them. Where are they from? Brewed and canned at Mondo Brewing Company in London, Battersea. Uh, Dennis Hopper's. Is an IPA, Dennis Hopper, <laughs> IPA, that's tremendous, that's 5.3% ABV, um, it's got Columbus hops, Citra Galaxy, Equinot, uh, dry hopped with Amarillo, Citra, that's, that could be absolutely fabulous, not the rubbish TV programme, um, that looks terrific as well, last but not least, big can of beer, Arbor Mosaic. I think I have had this. I think I had this in the Brewer's Tap. Arbor do proper cans of beer. Full point cans of beer. Um, and they say this is their single hop, gluten free single hop pale ale and is mosaic. Full point can, 4% ABV. Um, absolutely tremendous. There are some, the standout ones for me in this box are uh, the ones that I re I'm really looking forward to are uh, this one. From is it Mon Modo? Mon Mon Mondo? This one from Marble. The Loch Lomond looks absolutely tremendous. Light bulb's a great beer anyway. Um so this here is the craft beer pack from the best of British beer.co.uk. Um 
Thank you very much to Eugene. If that's something that interests you, get over to their website and have a look. They've got beer clubs. They've got a bit for everybody. They've got the advent calendar. I don't know if that's still available. Um, thank you so much for the, the beers, guys. And so we'll take a look at some of these as we go along. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, there's a subscribe button somewhere. And me and Wanda, see you very soon. Thank <laughs> you.